pound for pound. And boom. Okay, and we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers, episode 25. 25. 25. Half, yeah, halfway to 50. Holy. Yeah, we're quarter. Quarter, we're at quarter, the quarter life. mark. Yeah, quarter mark before the episode one. Wait, where'd you go? Are you in the room? I left you already. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, so uh, did you see the um, Conor McGregor thing? The uh, controversy? Uh, where he jumped the fence? Yeah, yo. That was like some pro wrestling stuff, though. I didn't actually think it was like a... Like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, like, he's he's trying to market himself. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't... It's like, his you, teammate, right? That was his teammate, though. For, so, for, like... For sure, for sure. But, like, to have, like, the understanding that you shouldn't jump in the ring, like, I'm pretty sure he knew that. I kind of felt like he was just yeah. doing it to, like... Publicity. Make, right, publicity. Uh, okay. Like, yeah. a, a, at least that, that's Makes what sense. I think. He, he, you know, he, he did die off for a little bit, you know? Right, for sure, so... for sure. It, and he almost wants to make himself, like, look... Oh, damn. I got hit. Uh, he almost wants to make himself look like, oh... I'm so much bigger than the sport that I can do whatever I want now, right? He's he's got that persona of like I own this, you know. So if he doesn't yeah. do stuff like that, he's like you know, and it's like you have the UFC, and then you have boxing, but Bellator is another another promotion. So if you end up like capitalizing on Bellator too, it's like oh I've I've met, like I've completely controlled the entire sphere of uh, fighting or martial oh, arts, mixed martial arts. Yeah, 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 right. It's crazy. Um, wait, like, uh, yeah, I, I didn't feel it was, like, genuine. Like, when he, like, jumped in there, he was, like, it's, like, if you watch his other interviews, he's so measured, you know? He's a very good martial artist. It's only, like, wait, I, oh, I, oh, oh, shoot, we want to kill that I guess we have to kill them. All right, cool, cool. Uh, oh, so, they're coppers. Oh, shit. They're cops. Okay. Are we going to strike killing? Dip, so, dip, dip. Um, yeah, like, he, he's really measured in his, like, composure. So it's, like, to not be measured in that one scenario, it's, like, I kind of feel like it wasn't genuine, you know? He's kind of doing the whole oh. pro wrestling thing. Yeah. And, like, um, yeah, uh, but uh, what, I, what I saw, like, the reason I bring this up is I was just reading, like, a report on it. And, like, Dana White's, like, oh, he's kicked off of December 30th card. You know, for UFC, he can't fight Tony Ferguson. But then, like, but I was... Oh, what's up? Yeah? Did you hear about, like, who, like, he, like... He, like, slapped and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also slapped that guy. But I don't, I don't know what what's that guy. Like, is he an important character in martial arts? Like, supposedly, he he's, like... Like, he creates... He's the one that upholds all the rules in... For Bellator. For oh, Bellator okay. fighting. It's whatever. It's or sorry, that or even maybe even maybe even all of mixed martial arts. I'm not too sure. Oh, but really? I know that he he is somebody that has been uh, voted to uphold all the rules of the like whatever mixed martial arts uh, group it is. Oh, okay. So he's I like thought a, he's I thought it was guy. all. He's 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 in the top of the food chain for mixed oh, martial arts no uh, sports. Yeah. So you think maybe Supposedly. Connor just took it too far? Maybe he didn't even know who the hell the guy was. Oh, I see. I see. You're just slapping him. It's like one of the yeah, because he was the guy that was hosting that that fight is the one that that runs that like was the one that enforces the rules, right? So right, right, right. I got you. For for him to watch it happen in his fight, if it happened in another fight, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad. But right. because it was his fight that he was hosting, mm -hmm. it, it may have been an issue, and maybe that's why Dana White's like, now I gotta take it seriously. So maybe it does affect the UFC also. Right. What what um what I saw though in the comments was that uh, it's like he wasn't even slated to fight in December, so it it's like they kicked him off of a card that he wasn't even contracted for. So it was kind of like a publicity stunt, you know, to like appease, oh. you know, like like they're, like UFC made a big thing about it, and like um because I was watching the uh, the interview for Conor McGregor's Notorious movie. And, like, uh, he was saying how, like, him and Dana White and him and the Fertitas are all, like, super close, right? And he was very measured again. So it's, like, I could see how they're just using all of this stuff. Like, look, we're talking about him right now, you know? It's, like, we're all... Yeah. He's creating newsworthy campaigns to make mix martial arts more popular, you know? That's his job, you know? That, that's even yeah, what he's like saying. The, like. that, make, that makes sense. Right? It makes sense that they would do it. Why not? 
for sure. And he had and, the power to. Exactly, exactly. It, it's almost like, a, and then he even said, like, my, my role is to propagate mixed martial arts. Like, in the interview. He wasn't saying, like, I'm the best fighter in the world. He's like, oh, my time will come and go, you know. But uh, right now, I'm here, like, to champion the sport. You know, I'm here to make it more famous and stuff. Right. To even say something like my time will come and go. It's like, OK, like you definitely have a control of your own emotions, you know? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like you are an act, you know, it makes sense. It makes right? total sense. Um, yeah, I, I get it. Like good publicity, bad publicity. It doesn't matter. It's, mm. it's all publicity. Right. Exactly, so it's exactly. like maybe it was a thing for them to use. Yeah, for sure. For we sure. we really don't know what was going on, so. But like, but like um, being in the being like ob- like objectively looking at it as like a business standpoint, it makes sense, you know, that it would. Yeah, business. Yeah, like business that. aspect for sure. But for the sport, mm-hmm. like the re- like, like like you know, like the respect of the sport and everything, uh-huh. I, uh-huh. I would say that was the worst thing that could happen. Oh, respect in the sport. I got you. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you yeah. need to like if you're in it, respect the sport. Respect, you know he's an official. He's a ref. Right, right. You gotta he was, respect them. You he don't go ref? charge. He was charging a ref, and then there was the commissioner. Mm-hmm. That's the guy. The commissioner was the one that got slapped or something by Connor. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, hmm. I, I watched some Chill Sun and him talking about it. Oh, okay, Supposedly okay. the commissioner. Yeah, Chael Sonnen talked about it, and it was like, this is the one guy you don't want to pick a fight with was the guy he slapped, the commissioner. Really? Do, do you, yeah. So, so, so you think that he just didn't know who the guy was, and then, like, he kind of messed up? And I, then I think that's exactly what happened. Oh, but supposedly him and that referee had a little, like, they have a little history. Oh, really? So he knew? Supposedly. I'm not sure. The referee. Connor knows the ref. Okay. But he didn't know who the but guy slapped. I don't know about the commissioner. Yeah, he doesn't know about the commissioner. But like, I don't think so. That's my guess. Like, what kind of slap are you talking know, here? Was it like a... I, I didn't see it. Or? I didn't see it, but everyone's... It, it's what made the news. I didn't see the video. I only saw the video when he jumped the fence. I didn't see the slap. I didn't. I only saw him charge the ref. Right. I, I didn't see the slap either. So it, it's like... Or allegedly it was there. Yeah, I, I heard that too, that he slapped someone. But I didn't see that in the video. So, like... Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see the slap at all, so I don't know where, where, where or when this slap happened. It'd be did crazy. you get the? Can you get? Can you I get can't that, find uh, it. Yeah, like, I'm looking for it. I'm like, where the hell did it go? The like, trunk of the car? Maybe the car itself. Oh, I I tried to enter into the car, but the car didn't allow me. Yeah. Oh, you killed everyone though, eh? Yeah, okay. yeah I killed everyone. Yes, yeah, so just go back. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, We're it, waiting for you then. Okay, I'm it, coming. Uh, It'll be interesting if like um it'll be interesting if like we find out that we're all just getting played, you know, this whole thing is just like another stunt to get them more big and famous and stuff. Well, why not? Like yeah, I accept sure. that too. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. That's true. <laughs> that's yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Do you, that's do you what think, it that's what it's Do you think you think without the drama like do you think there's the actual um the actual um um pro wrestling effect going on? Like do you think we actually need these crazy storylines or do you think it's like you can, um, you know, in like, do, can can you just sell fights just for the fight? You know, I mean, being a purist, or you or can, whatever. but you're not going to get as much money. True, you have to, you have to meet the demand of the masses, and the masses want that storyline, the drama. Right, right, right. They hunger for that, right? So it's like, there it is. That's how their lives are. So that's what they want. And that's so true. Like, yeah, okay. just like playing out like to their fantasies and stuff. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. And that's what they want, and that's what the that's not not like everyone, but the the masses, like the majority of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, True yeah. martial artists will fight, will will watch a fight because it's a fight, you know, like just to learn from it, to study, see what happens. Right, for sure. That's a true martial artist. They don't care about the. Oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just picked it up. Yeah, I saw I saw the guy. He was it was a person. He was a person like trying to run away. I just killed him. To, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So you're saying, yeah. The purists. Uh, yeah, they they will just enjoy the fight for what it is. For sure. Like learn sure. from it, do what they can. Just even just watch it. Like you know how Joe Rogan has his like, the fight podcast, whatever they're called. Yeah, fight companions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so like it's like those. Like they're not there for the storylines. Like they'll True. talk about it, but in reality, they're there to watch the fight. That's why they watch like those jujitsu matches. 
True, 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 true. Yeah. Like, who in the right mind will watch a jiu-jitsu match without yeah, yeah. drama? To be right. honest. Oh, unless you're if like you don't know, it. if you don't know what, yeah, if you don't know what's going on, it looks like they're just hugging each other. For sure. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Like, I, I like, I like watching jujitsu matches because, like, I'm actually into the martial arts aspect. But like, I guess exactly. you're right. Like, That's why. Being, being you a can purist, s- you know. You will watch it regardless of what it is just to learn from it or just to even yeah just just to learn it from it Mm. or just your curiosity but if you if you're just like an everyday person and to like to meet more of the masses Uh then that's when you start adding the drama and that's when you can start adding like you know how like a lot of guys will watch it but then the girlfriends are not really into it so the drama adds in so that they can have something that they can talk about you're right you're right did did you see the um... so like it's both do, do, sucks, do, do you yeah. see the uh, the Rose Nangamunes or whatever her name Fight? is? Fight? Oh. Yeah. Uh, or her, her after Great. talk, though, um, about like, oh, like, because it's like it's the total opposite of what we're talking about, you know? Like, like she doesn't want the drama anymore. But we're just talking about how, like, the drama sells. No, but she never wanted kind of the high. drama. Oh, really? She's oh. never wanted that. She's always been, like, super composed. She's always been very calculated and composed. Right, right, very right. controlled. Like when she was getting her belt, uh-huh. you saw a tear. Boom! She held it back right away for after sure, the one sure. tear. Did, she was like, "Nope, not happening." Did, she probably cried her ball. Like she probably cried crazy. Like when she got home for sure. in silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like in public, she was she's all straight composed. Composed. She meditates. Yeah, yeah. She no, I was, meditation. I, man. I, I was I was about yeah. to say. Did Did you see the um post fight interview when she talked about like the yoga of it? Like, uh, she, she really got into yoga and, like, learning about the mind because, like, mental illness is in her family. So, like, she was, like, she's afraid of it. Oh. Yeah, it was really interesting, bro. Wow. It, yeah, it was such a – and then she's, like, talking about how, like, like uh, she's, like, saying all these crazy yogic principles. And then I was, like, oh, man, you're, like, you're super aware of, you know, your actions you're and a- your own thoughts, you know? She's awake. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was, it was really interesting. That's why hear, I didn't you know? know. I didn't know that she was awake. Yeah, yeah like until I, I had to watch the, the fight, and I had yeah, to yeah. look, and I had to look into it. And I was like, Adrian was like, "Yo, don't you know he meditate? She meditates." And I was like, "Really?" Yeah. So yeah. I checked her out. I was like, "Okay." Like, yeah, she was saying she, like a, a mantra and stuff when, uh, when, uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, you know, it was, it was when like, she was fighting during her fight, she was yeah. she had a mantra. Yeah, yeah, and and even during the weigh-in, she was saying like the the Lord's prayer, like the Our Father, because like she didn't want to get caught up in the emotion of the situation. So she's like keeping herself calm. Yeah. It was really interesting, you know. Yeah, you know, she she is straight. She's a samurai. Yeah, I know, right? When straight I saw it, I was like, man. "Yo, you're sick, bro!" Like, uh, samurai. Like, I like, I like, I like love Yoana and Jacek's um, ability and like her her persona. But it's like she was kind of getting like into the whole like pro wrestling vibe too. I I guess like myself being like. Uh, like into that whole samurai ishness. Like I don't really like the drama of it, you know. Like I like T City yeah. too. You ever watch T City's fights? And he's like very composed as well. It's like, hey man, we're no. just like, oh, you've never seen it? Oh man, he's he's another samurai, no. yo. He doesn't like go off. He's just like, it is what it is, yo. We're just fighting. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, I'm more interested to see how I'm gonna lose. Cause like they ask him, like uh, Joe Rogan's like, oh, you've been on like a nonstop fighting streak. But wait, wait, hold on, wait. Where am I going? Am I going to the yellow or where to you? Going no, to me. The Go to me. Go to you. Yeah, wait, I'm, no. I'm right at the yellow. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so so um, Joe Rogan's like, oh, like you're on an unlimited winning streak. Like what? What is? Uh, like what are you thinking? And blah blah. blah. And he's like, I just want to see how I'm gonna lose because like right now I'm using like the Helio Gracie principles and like. I want to yeah. see what will take me out, and then I can learn from it to become better. And I was like, "That's a really great thing to say, you know?" Wow. Yeah, right. That's another samurai. Oh, like that's a great, um, great mentality. Are you? Oh, wait, let me jump on. Uh, are you? Uh, are you stoked for the uh, Cub Swanson fight? No. No. <laughs> uh, I just, I, I just want to see. Um, I just want to see uh, who. who I just want to see how he's going to beat him because, like, Cub Swanson, like, no joke either. You know, like, I, I at first, like, because um, there's this guy that I, I like, talk to about um, UFC stuff all the time. He, like, lives in Holland. I met him in Peru, actually, when we were there. And um, Nice. Yeah, so, like, we, we just, like, uh, text each other whenever we whenever UFC is on. We, like, discuss things. And then uh, during the Brian T. City fight, 
uh, I was like, oh man, like T City won that, blah, blah blah. And he's like, oh well, Clay Guido's like kind of old now. You know what I mean? Like he's he's he kind is. of on his way out, right? But then I saw yeah. the Joe Lozon Clay Guido fight, and I was like, dang, Clay Guido like smoked him, yo. So it's like, yeah, it's like he's not that crappy. So T City's he's good. not, he's not. But yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's just he's past his prime, Clay. For sure, so it's for like, sure. yeah. So that's why he's, your your friend's trying to say it's like his best prime. In his prime, it would have been a, like a nice fight, but but like he but past the, his prime. But I give respect. I give more respect to T City now. The fact that he beat Clay Guida, um, and Joe Lozon, who's another like legit black belt, like got smoked, yo. Like he got like yeah. taken out, man. It wasn't even yeah. like a oh okay unanimous decision kind of thing. It was like you got you got knocked out, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it happens, man. You never know. Like just a split second of unfocus, you, you're you, done for sure. Right? Are you reading the samurai book? Is that why you brought it up? I haven't started yet. Oh, no, no, okay. I'm, that's always a, you know how I've always thought no, of no, that. Choo, 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 no, no, yeah, you no, know no. We practice for sure, for sure. But the the um the principle comes up in the samurai book, so I was like, oh, that's that's interesting that you just said it. But but so I noticed that with the GSP fight when uh like Bisbing was oh, kind of yeah. winning, and then he he hit him, and then he like he got rocked, and then he just capitalized on the situation. You know what I mean? Like GSP yeah. wasn't an amazing dominant fighter in that one. He just like no, got, he wasn't. You know what I mean? Like. Do you think he's gonna stay? At he his... got that. He got... He's yeah. fighting. He has a next fight already. Yeah, that not... um, Kevin. Was it Kendall? Kevin Randall? No, Ferguson. No, no. Is no. it who's, Ferguson? Who's he fighting? No, he's fighting that Australian dude. I don't know. He's supposed to like. It's already <laughs> set. It's like already set. Who's fighting? Oh, yeah, okay, he's, okay. It's already. It's already set that he's gonna fight that guy. We don't know his name, unfortunately. He's yeah. he's good though. <laughs> it's all good. He he's good though. That um, the guy that he's fighting, like he took out um, Jacare. He's the he's the interim champ, isn't he? Yeah. Oh he's no no no. This champ. is for Connor. This is Connor. This is Connor. Oh, you're this talking, is like Tony Ferguson. Yeah, we're talking. That's a different one. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. GSP right now. I'm trying to talk about GP, GSP, but I'm getting them two mixed up. Yeah. Got you, got you. So um, GSP is yeah. fighting some other. So like the uh, like the the word is that GSP is going to end up uh, dropping back to his original weight. Like he can't he can't sustain it. Like I was I was reading John Danaher's uh, Instagram post. And it was saying how like GSP was puking between fights, and he was getting really sick because he was force feeding himself. Well, what happened? Can't get in. It's yours. That's why. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, um, he he was like force feeding himself, and he couldn't um, he couldn't actually um, stay healthy during it. They were actually gonna pull him out because he was he was too sick because he was trying to eat. He he, he was forcing himself to eat because he was like losing too much weight too quickly. You know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. He might drop down back to his original weight because he can't stay at a heavyweight or middleweight, whatever it was. Yeah, that'll be good. Zone. That will be good because that's the one where he dominated. So the welterweight. But now right? he's a two-time. Now he's a two-time champ. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Which is really two division. No, like, not two-time. Two division champ. Two division. Yeah, yeah. Just like uh, B J Penn. Um. BJ yeah. Penn went up. BJ Penn right? was the first, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. And and then uh now Connor, two di two division and simultaneous champ. That's crazy. But now everyone's trying to do that, you know? Everyone's trying to pull a Connor McGregor. Like like um what's his name? Uh T J Dillashaw. He's like uh he's like after I beat uh after I no no, my next fight will be with uh Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson so that I can go for the flyweight title. Let him Someone needs to stop Dimitri. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, he's yo, he's pretty he sick needs though. To, yo. That's why he needs to fight. He needs to fight. Like he's the only one that like fights anyone, mm -hmm. and like he always chooses the best fighters. He doesn't for sure. care. For sure. For he's sure. He's always ready. He he has my utmost respect. Did do you see that freaking armbar finish? Oh man, that was amazing. Yeah. That yeah. was like a crazy like. Dang, that was, came out of nowhere, yo. And then everyone was like posting that uh, that Hicks and Gracie's the one who showed that back in the day, you know. That was like one of the Come standard on. moves. Yeah, I know. Right? Like I love how like the internet is. The like they'll they'll try and like. Oh, it's because of this. It's because of right, him. Yeah, you know, this is Dimitri Johnson. That's it's him. 
It's yeah, no one else. No one else can take credit for that. For sure. Could you imagine if he wins again? Come on. Like, oh, there's nobody's gonna get that title away. From what do you him, mean? Like... What do you mean if? Come oh, on. If he... No, but but if he fights uh, T.J. Dillashaw. No, no, no. Doesn't matter. Oh, really? Unfortunately, T.J. losing. Oh no way! Eh? I was surprised that Cody Garbrandt won. Hundred percent. I I I had my money on Cody, man. But then, like when I know. won, I was like, "Dang, I did not expect that, bro." But you saw it. You saw the experience. Yeah, that's you true. You saw the difference in experience, right? Because like, but but Cody, Co you know, Cody was good, but he needed the experience. He was too cocky, too. True. He had yeah, like yeah, yeah. it was the thing. He was way too cocky. Uh -huh. The overconfidence got to him, and that's yeah. why he lost the belt. That's true. That's true. But but him versus uh, Dominic Cruz, man, like he looked like a freaking god. When he fought uh, yeah. Dominic Cruz, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I was well, thinking. That's why that... I was surprised. I was surprised. Yeah. I thought he was gonna win too. But then I looked. I was like, I'm gonna give TJ the benefit of the doubt because he has the experience. Yeah, that's true. And like, that's if true. you look at their history, wasn't he like TJ taught him when he first came into the yeah. to the sport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was yeah, like, yeah, yo, like TJ knows your that's style. True. Yeah, for sure. And like, he's older and smarter. He has that experience where he's going to use that against you, where you d dominate by your physicality and your speed. So yeah, it's like, yeah. that's where that's where the experience happened. And it showed, like, he caught up. He kept doing that kick, and I was like, man, like, it's so projected. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. it's going to work. Yeah, yeah for it, sure, it, for sure. It, and I was like, oh, my goodness. That was good. He was setting it up the whole time. That's why he was going so low. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah. like he was bringing the uh, Cody's attention low, and then uh, all mm. of a sudden, he looked like he was going for the leg, and it went straight to the head. And totally, I was like, totally. Damn. And it's, then that's how he—that's how it, it shook him, and then that's when he got knocked. It's—it's it's interesting out. when you like uh, when you see the the facial expression of uh, Cody Garbrandt at the end of that. He was kind of like like it's it's weird. Like, you know when you're, like, you're, like, uh, completely shook and then, like, uh, you see how they react? Cody Garbrandt kind of looked like a baby, you know? Like, he was, like, so in awe of, like, what happened, you know? It wasn't, like, composed or whatever. It was, like, you know what I mean? He wasn't, like, manly about it. He was just, like, oh, I got hit. You know, I lost. What, what's going on, you know? Mm. If, if you look at, like, uh. the, uh, like the, the, if you look at the picture the picture of when uh tj screaming in his face tj you know? screaming at his face no because he doesn't know what's going on he got but, knocked he, down he, knocked he, out he was knocked out cold exactly exactly but it's like it's like that's uh that's a crazy scene to witness because it's like he doesn't look like a warrior at that moment you know he looked like a freaking freaking loser you know? but he did uh, lose you know yeah you know what I mean? Like, well, like even if you lose, you should still. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know right? What you like mean. at least, at least hold your own. You know, make yourself look like tough or something. You know, like oh, I lost, but like, you know, whatever. You know, quickly, quickly recover yourself, kind of thing. You know. Mm. Yeah. Uh, do you know uh, Faraz the hobby? Dude, this is actually nope. one of the. You don't know who Faraz the hobby is? Nope, I'm not in the I'm not in the in knowledge of MMA anymore. To be oh, honest. Right. So, well, all right. Faraz Sahavi is the trainer of uh, GSP. He's not an MMA fighter. He's uh he's the coach. Oh, um, Tristar. Oh, his friend. His yeah, friend. yeah, yeah. The the freaking yeah. um, brown dude, not brown, whatever. It was yeah. It was his, it was his corner for years. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Behind that guy, that Greg guy. Jackson, and then he became his full time coach. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that that's crazy. Like I didn't. I I only got into uh, UFC and like MMA and stuff. Like in the past, like maybe six years, I I didn't really know anything about uh, GSP at the time. So like to see that Greg yeah. Jackson. Like I'm seeing all these like throwback images of like GSP with like John Jones with Greg. Ja I was wondering how come Greg Jackson was so famous, you know? And it's like, oh, GSP used him, you know, as like a as like a coach, you know. Well. Yeah, he was. Yeah, Greg Jackson was, but Greg Jackson had many, like many great coaches, fighters yeah, under yeah, him. Sure. That's why, like, he had so many great fighters. Right, right. So, right. even Rashad Evans when he was the champ, you know. Right, but I, I didn't know that uh, GSP was in that camp before. I thought he was just straight. Oh, you did oh. No, I thought he was just straight for Asahabi. No. So I was like, oh man, like. No, he was always he was Greg Jackson the whole time. 
Oh, no way. Okay. So the when, whole when time. Did... He was under Greg Jackson the whole time. So what about Faraz? Like, when did he join up with Faraz? Like, you know what I mean? Like, just when, when he retired. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Interesting. He took over his, his training, everything, once he retired. Oh, okay. Okay. That's hey. what that's what I understand. If I'm not right, I'm sorry, but from what I understand through what they were what he was saying and uh -huh. like cuz I watched the embedded, right? Right. So that's right. what he was saying. He was like, "Oh, like I became the full-time coach." But they didn't they didn't mention uh Greg Jackson at all. So oh, that's okay. why I was like, "Oh, okay." The um and then but I know he was Greg Jackson's uh he was in Greg ja Jackson's camp while right. he was still fighting in the UFC, so it probably happened after he retired. Oh, okay, okay. If you if you watch yeah. um, so like I I became like a big fan of Faraz Sahabi because like uh like GSP and stuff, right? And um, his brother actually fought. His brother got in the UFC and like was fighting. Uh, I think on that same card that same night. Did you see it? Like uh, Amy and no. Sahabi. Oh my god, this is the worst. So it sucks because like you have all this expectation, right? Because you're like, oh, it's the brother of Faraz Sahabi. He's gonna be amazing, right? You come from like a, a family of like intelligent fighters right like that's the yeah. assumption right oh man this dude got like spinning back elbow the dude all right so his opponent threw one spinning back elbow and then like uh amy and zahavi like ignored it and he was like oh, i'm just gonna keep going and then he he threw another spinning back elbow but he hit him on the jaw perfectly that the guy like got knocked out and like that was one of the worst knockouts i've ever seen like his, his like neck was like off the like he was like in shock it was like you electrocuted him and like uh, his mouth was open, and then they were saying like he for sure broke his jaw. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, Ooh. yeah, his mouth was just open, and then the ref just had to like hold him and like hold like cradle his head and like take out the thing. Like, could you imagine being the brother just to see your your other brother just like like totally gone? You know? Well, that's what happens in this industry. You know? I know, I know, but it's like you you never like the freak acts like when uh when um. Anderson Silva broke his shit. Broke his leg. Oh yeah. my god, that's like those are the freak accidents that you just don't want to see. You know what I mean? But we don't think about. Yeah, it well, the like, elbow to the jaw is, is expected. Come on. For sure, no, 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 like it was, it was for sure his own fault. He threw the same move twice, and you just didn't move out of the way. You know, you didn't, you didn't account for it. So when he got cracked in the jaw, it's and he broke his jaw. It was like, oh god, yo, like this could like kill yeah. you for life. Yeah, pretty much. Right? Like, like, how are you going to come back? What if you broke your neck, bro? Oh, they're still coming. Uh, yeah, it could happen, man. That's why it's that's why it's the deadly sport of MMA. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Are you... Uh, Do we win? I don't know. Know. We're getting... Yeah, but we're still getting shot by the guys. That's weird. Cool, cool. Right. Uh, let's... Uh... Head back to your base. Did you get the four hundred thousand when you started on? Yeah. Well, uh, is that because we stopped playing for a while? No, no, no. It's like their anniversary, like their tenth anniversary or something. I don't, I don't know. And then they gave us all um, four hundred thousand. So that should help you in buying the stuff. Yeah, I think I got that. Nice. Uh, Here come. So let's go into this red, which means there's a people, people gang here. Yeah, are you um? The gang. Are you are you stoked for any other uh, UFC matchups? I lo I love Tony Dillashaw. No, no. You, do you like you just like a hobbyist? Like you watch it from time to time, or do you actually actively follow the uh, sport? I I used to not anymore. I just yeah no, I'm not into it anymore. Oh okay. I I find that like um the unless you're like a really good fighter, like the beginning fights are so crappy. You know what I mean? Like, there's too many fighters almost now. Yeah. You know, that, like, you'll see a bunch of, like, boring fights. It's only, like, the, the big names that are, like, really, like, they stand out, you know? Yeah. Well, that's why. I only watch the big names. Yeah, exactly, but, like, exactly yeah. I, like, but a real person that loves martial arts will watch every fight, right? That's true, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. But like, unfortunately, it's not it's not one of my priorities, and <laughs> I don't make a living out of um, watching fights. So true, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, did you, uh, did you see, uh, you know, Paige Van Zandt? Paige Van Dam. Van Zandt. What? The girl, no. Paige Van. You don't know her? Oh, like the really like the modelist. Oh, one. 
Oh, the one that all the guys love. Yeah, yeah. she's like blonde and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she she it, it's weird how like this weight cutting thing is like becoming such a prevalent issue. Like cuz she's like um she's like pretty she fights at a really low weight class, but she's naturally really heavy, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, so What's like her natural she, weight. I uh, like 150 something like that. But she oh. she cuts down to like 113, you know? Something like that. Like super light in order to get to um that that weight class, but they're saying that like if you do that, especially if you're a girl, if you do that too much, like go down and up, you end up, uh, your body resists it, and then you put on like a lot of weight. Like you hold on to like a lot of weight. Yeah, of course. Yeah. C could you imagine the, like, if you think about the body image issues, when you look at like fighters and like women, and then you don't realize that they're dehydrated, and then you like look at it, and then, you know what I mean? But that's what people strive, that's why, like, a lot of people strive for those bodies. I'm like, you don't know what's actually happening do you yeah for sure exactly, exactly like how much they're actually killing themselves by doing this yeah exactly there's so many people that you get like kidney stones from it your like liver shuts down just to like make that weight that's crazy man yeah i don't know i don't know why it's like the big thing to do the weight cutting I don't know why people find it. Yeah, like why do people? I, I guess like the body does look nice and everything, but it's like, is no, they, it really they, that? They want the advantage, but it's not really in it. like so. If you if you can no, but like down. I'm talking about the normal other like oh, normal people. Oh, like, I see. I see. People people will look at these bodies and be like, that's what I want to look like. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. And it's like but no, it's no, like... no. You don't want to look like that because they're, they're super actually unhealthy not healthy. Moment. Yeah, yeah. That you think be... they're healthy, but they are un uh, very unhealthy. Yeah, exactly. But a lot of people will be like, no, they're not. Look at their body. They're not unhealthy. It's Exa like, yeah, okay, it, you're... It's like, it, you that's don't the marketing, know. though. And, and like the Photoshop, too, when they like Photoshop pictures of them, you know? Yeah. Like you're, uh, you're creating like the worst illusion because then uh, like little little kids or even adults will become super obsessed with that kind of stuff you, you know that there's this thing called um so it's like the complete opposite of uh anorexia it's like but it's still body dysmorphia uh guys will guys will like balloon up like they want to become like super swole yeah that's what a lot of guys do and then you're oh, like oh i gotta get my swell on no but, like, but on. It, it's an actual like psychological disorder it's just like it's the i forgot what it's called but it's the complete opposite of anorexia like they like whereas like the anorexics will be like oh i'm not skinny enough these guys will be like i'm too skinny and then they'll like keep getting more and more jacked uh, i would think that's the steroids talking <laughs> yeah that's true that i i found like i was talking to um i was talking i've been like questioning this because i'm like oh i wonder like what girls actually think and most girls don't actually find that attractive. Only like the select few that are already trying to become like that themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like the average girl's kind of like, ooh, that's kind of like gross. Yeah. The um. I no, there's, kinda... there's random chest. There's random chests here that have a lot of money in it. So. What? You gotta find the. You gotta find the chests. Oh, inside this room. Yeah. There should be like yeah, because this was a gang attack, so there should be a lot of money here. Oh, I got you, got you. I thought you were talking about the. <laughs> it's like chess, what? Body dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia. Yeah, but like, yeah, I, I get that. Like yeah, I I would th I would think that's the steroids, you know. But... Yeah, for sure. I I kind of find that they to me they kind of look like bugs when there's no like there's like zero percent body fat, like you know like Sage Northcut, you know. <laughs> that, that kid i'm like oh god you're like insanely jacked for no reason remember the the kid from twilight um uh, what's his name J jacob black T no. taylor lautner no oh he, like everyone loved him because he was like super jacked he was he was in that movie uh uh spy kids he was oh that guy yeah, yeah, shark yeah. Boy. okay shark boy yeah shark boy yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he got fat eh <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, he, like let him. You know why? Because he's with Adam Sandler now. Oh really? What? He the, um, with Whoa. Adam Sandler. He um, he's a movie. No, he was in a com comedy with with uh, like Terry Crews was in it and 
Oh no way. It was like they're all cowboys. Like they all have the same father and he acted oh. pretty like a slow person. Was he jacked? Uh, I don't yeah, I don't know. He wasn't shirtless in the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, he he like oh wait, it's, uh, I gotta I gotta bounce. Um but yeah, fi final thoughts from you or uh here yeah, let's take that screenshot. I'll ask you your final thoughts as you uh as I take this. Let me screenshot. take off this helmet. Helmet, come off. Thank you. <laughs> helmet, come off. Yeah, so, <sighs> yeah man. Uh, final thoughts. Nothing. Um, nothing. It's good to talk to you. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's you my too, final yo. thought. It was good to talk to you. It's been a while yeah, still. Yeah, it has so. been a while, yeah. Working, yeah. doing stuff, you know. Oh, can you, can you step to the right a little bit? There you go. Perfect. Yeah, now just face me. Awesome. I just got to wait for this bad boy to go away. Yeah, I'm playing uh, Uncharted 2 now. I see that. Same, well, I see that you game. post that you're like doing it, and I like that you're doing like for each story. Oh yeah. yeah like yeah. you're is, like, is it like? Are you going with the game? Like uh, I finish I, one mission and you stop. Type I, of thing? I was I was for um for Lost Legacy, but with Uncharted two, it's too long, so I'm just trying to get as many as I can, like per like I'll I'll like oh, okay. I'll just do as many chapters as I can in that one section, and then I'll like cut it up, you know, or like um uh, you know. Cause it's like twenty five chapters. Lost Legacy was only nine. Oh, okay. So it's like okay, I can do like nine, but twenty five episodes would be like way too much. And like, and the yeah. short and the length of each episode is kind of weird because it's like sometimes it'll be like super short and then like super long. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. For Just like for the for Lost Legacy. Uh no, for number two, I mean Among Thieves. Oh, Uncharted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, Uncharted's always been a long long game. Yeah, for sure. It was sick though. Yeah. I loved it. But yeah. Anyways. Yeah, man. All right. Uh, till next time. Stay cute. Yeah. You like my pink outfit? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's adorable. <laughs> All right, yo. Take it easy. All right. Peace. See ya.